Good morning everybody, welcome back to Property Couple. I'm Leah. And I'm AK. And this is our channel where we document property, business and working together as a couple. Nice. And today, what are we doing today? We're in Amsterdam again. We're in Amsterdam. We got here yesterday and um, it was a really, really early start, but today is a better day. We feel a lot more rested. We feel really rested and we're, yeah, I'm just really excited to just get out and get some fresh air and walk around. And today we're actually going to be going on a little tour around the canals and actually looking at Amsterdam's narrowest houses. Yeah, there's some really interesting buildings around here. Mm. So we're gonna go and show you some of those and also have a little wonder ourselves. Let's go. This is lovely. Good. I've got my sunglasses in my back just in case this happened. Nice. We had to stop at some shops. We walked past this shop yesterday and we were like, it looked really cool, so we just wanted to have a look. Nice to see different designers or just stuff you wouldn't come across in the UK, so it was very nice. Okay, so from our hotel, it's about a 25 to 30 minute stroll over to the narrowest house in Europe. It's really exciting. I've, I've seen it on Google. It really does look like you can sort of go like that and that's the whole house like from side to side. Also, it's really, really hard not to stop down every little cute street you come across. So we have been taking a bit of a detour here and there. Yeah, so somebody said uh, to go past the sticker shop and I was like, what's the sticker shop? <laughs> that's the sticker shop. The sticker shop. I can see the duck shop over there. Should we go I mean, no to one, it? Just, just to clarify, no one actually said go past the sticker shop. But if anybody did say go past the sticker shop, I know that's the sticker shop. Yeah. I wonder if they're open to me having the camera out in there. The cards only. No cash and no robbers. No robbers. Yeah. But, um, oh my God, there's every type of duck. Oh my God, a wedding duck. No. A wedding duck. They're so cute. The wedding duck. Maybe we've got to get the wedding duck. It would feel like so wrong if we didn't. <laughs> Look at the ducks. I know, I'm going to get them. a lion duck, a king duck, a queen duck, a multicolored duck, a driving duck, a ladybird duck, a sheep duck, a panda duck, stormtrooper duck, a chef duck, a cop duck, a robot duck, a smiley duck, <laughs> Dutch, poker yes. duck, zodiac, okay, we get it. Duck, international duck, black star duck, baby duck, leopard duck. I can keep going. But now it's just 25 minutes that way, and uh, it's actually on the other side of the canal. But we wanted to walk in the sun, so this is nice. Welcome back everybody, we're really excited to show you our latest project in Amsterdam and it's a uh, basement conversion actually to a, um, I'm just kidding, this is, this is not our project. We heard the drilling and we were like, that'd be cool. How cool would it be to do like a project like that? Like, these buildings are amazing, they have like the basements and then they have like the middle floor, the next floor, the next floor, the next floor. I mean, just a, a normal apartment, but... It's just like a house with stairs. It's a house with stairs, but... You I just, just explained a house with I, stairs. I just explained a normal building. You just explained a normal five-storey really building. normal. But when you look at them, I just think they're really cool because they're just like, imagine living there. I know. Now. So nice. The, all the, the six months worth of back and forth and all that stuff, planning with the latest care home project. And uh, and then the whole, oh, it's gonna be a risk. There's gonna be flood risk. If the level comes up here, people are not gonna have enough time to get out and stuff. I mean, what do you reckon those guys went through? Do you reckon they got planning? Or? Do you reckon they got a thousand years of flood proof risking? Yeah, I don't think so. We've got a thousand years of flood proof planning. <laughs> permission. Imagine the, uh, the concern that the North Lincolnshire Council would have on those. <laughs> well, that's how you drop yourself off at home. That one there. This street behind me, as we were approaching it, I was like, do the houses not look like they're falling a bit forward? Like this. If I was a house, I'm like, oh no. It's like, they, they, they sort of like lean forward like yeah. there. I call it the leaning houses of Amsterdam. Over 400 years old. 405 years and it's still standing and yeah it looks like it's going to fall on us but it's still standing it's probably going to carry on standing it's, it's actually forward. leaning forward 
Like, I don't even know if you can tell on camera. Yeah, I don't think you can. Like, you've kind like, of got to see it with your own eyes. So, like, everything with this city, like, the buildings have moved because they're three, four hundred years old, probably even more, some of them. Like, here, you can just see, like, just nothing's straight because everything's just, like, moved. I'm going to show you how funny this is. All right, guys, there's a bit of work going on today. Yeah, building works. yeah I think they're uh, adding an extension on the side. They're doing an extension to the smallest house. They're actually um, extending making a conservatory over there and uh, actual living space. <laughs> it's funny. It's actually open. We just met Niels, who is the owner of the narrowest house in Europe, and it was really lovely. We couldn't unfortunately get in upstairs and have a cup of tea because it's busy, but we might try again in a few hours. And it was just so lovely and quaint in there, it was tiny, um, and it smelled amazing because they've turned it into a tea shop. It was awesome because they had like Earl Grey, Lady Grey, <laughs> Amsterdam Grey. So cool. You know, it, like they had all these different grapes. I've never heard of Amsterdam grey, have you? No. Amsterdam grey. I'm sure it was Amsterdam grey. He gave us a little postcard of that it. That house was absolutely tiny. Imagine living there. I know. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, I think like it'd be dead easy to clean. You know, you'd clean it in two seconds. <laughs> it's uh, fantastic. Yeah, it's really awesome. glad we saw that. Me too. Oh my god, guys. There's a gravitational pull. What? What? This is in. This is insane. Kinder Maxi. That's my usual Kinder. What's the Maxi? That's what we usually have with a cup of tea. Oh, they call it, is it a European thing? They call it Maxi. I thought we called it Maxi as well. No, what do we. It, has, it just has Kinder and it has medium bar on it. They have Maxi. <laughs> oh, the Maxis are actually a little bit bigger than what we have on a cup of tea. They are. I love Kinder. Maybe they just don't have flood risk assessment over here. That's what it is, <laughs> you know? You're allowed to do that. It's not you don't, a yeah, maybe you just don't need a flood risk to live on a maybe it's just houseboat. Like, yeah, maybe it's just like, well, it's your problem. You can do that if you want, but it's your problem. If it floods, I mean, look, that, that's like what? That's probably not even a meter between that, the window and the level of the water. So do you think this is it? I think so, yeah, I'm 99.9% .9 sure. So do we think I made up in my head that it was called Food Holland and it's um, actually the Holland? You know what, I need to check that. Okay. <laughs> Look, Film Holland. Basically film it's Holland. like, I think Holland must be, Holland must be the hall. Yeah, it must be hall. Food Holland. There's too much choice in here, guys. There's like Greek, Mexican, I'm just, there's everything. There's dim sum over there. That's got my name on it. <laughs> Okay, Atch's choice. I don't know what it is. Easy dim sum. Thank you. Guys, my tripod broke and it's here. <laughs> Snapped. So it's so sad. We're currently getting this shot by resting that up there, that on the water. That's quite genius. I think it's very clever. Just a heads up this is me with my travel head on. If you're coming to Amsterdam, do not get cash out. I have not used cash once and we we actually brought some cash for the holiday and it's just card everywhere. So there is really no need. I, I just, maybe some emergency money for like a taxi or something, but there's been no need at all for, ta for cash at any point. So much so that I was like, what am I gonna do with these euros now? I just took them out for this holiday for nothing. Everywhere I go, I'm like, do you take cash? And they're like, no. Okay, so you're probably thinking, why are the houses so narrow and so wonky? We've spent this whole video showing you how wonky and narrow the houses are. Well, back in the 15th century, the planning laws were really strict due to the land being so unstable. So one of the laws, well, the planning law was that you had to have lightweight materials and large windows to make the houses more lightweight. And um, the other thing is that you'd get taxed on the frontage of your house. So if you've got a wider house, that really is kind of like back in the day showing how rich you were in Amsterdam. So I find that so fascinating and so interesting because yeah, everyone's trying to save money and we're just standing here going, wow, beautiful narrow houses. But it was all because it was so blooming expensive. So that second one in is literally slanted like that. 
and I can't work out is it just the front or is it the whole house because imagine if you were like sitting on your couch and you were like this yeah like, are you sitting on your couch like this yeah. <laughs> or is it is it sort of like does it not feel like that because I'm looking at that building now and it is so wonky I know it's literally leaning to the right as someone with like a little bit of OCD is it your idea of hell yeah I just can't look at that so we got back to the hotel and I had the idea of actually going up to the rooftop and just sitting there in the sunshine. It was lovely. Yeah, I'm an absolute sun worshipper. Like if there's ever sun out, I just love sitting there and just like soaking in the rays. So we did that. We, we went over that sort of like bridge. Didn't we? Oh my gosh, I, I got like a clip. Because I hate heights. Like I'm really, really bad with heights. You were, you look like you were about to vomit. Do you get queasy? Yeah, like that. I've got like, oh my God, like butterflies. Oh no, because of heights. Yeah, honestly, the moment I'm looking, I'm looking Cause there. Oh God, it makes you. <laughs> Do you feel sick? It's making me. Oh no. <laughs> You're really. That is the end of day two. We've shown you the smallest house in Amsterdam, smallest house in Europe as well. Apparently so. Apparently so. And um, it has been really nice walking around the city and exploring. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. And do let us know in the comments below if you enjoy these sorts of videos. We'll definitely make more if if people like them. Yeah, who um, knows? Maybe we'll do like a uh, property couple European city property series. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would actually be great. Yeah, nice. Just that. let us know. I'd love that. All the more reason to book more city breaks. Exactly. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.